Okie dokie, guys. I need to set up really, really quick. Just going to steal one of these podiums. Sorry to the band members back there. I'm sorry about that. I just want to thank Jeff for a, a wonderful, warm welcome. He's been a great friend of mine for a few years, and um, I just want to emphasize on a few simple topics today. The act of doing and talking. Today I'm here talking in front of you. You know, you're enjoying hearing all these wonderful t speakers speak about different things. And ta ta talking is like someone who, you know, just has a lot of different ideas. For instance, our government today. They have a lot of different ideas, but do they really implement a lot? Just this week, I think they're trying to pass a, um, trying to pass a, pass cuts, for instance. I think their deadline's tomorrow night, and they're all up in arms. It's really sad. But doing, someone who steps out the box, someone who gets down to work, and is just that innovator like Steve Jobs. That guy took a simple idea and expanded it to a MacBook, to an iPhone, to an iPod. This guy was amazing. So today, I just want to, students of today, at least most of us, like to talk the talk at school in front of all your friends, but do we really walk the walk? Most teens, so our problem today is that we do have a voice, but how are we going to make that voice heard? The problem we have is most teens are on Facebook, COD, if, that, if you guys know what COD is, it's Call of Duty, all of you parents out there, or, you know, wow, World of Warcraft, if you guys don't know what that means either. And, you know, our society has become very, very lazy, and it's so sad to see that we distract ourselves from just nonsense from Facebook, all the drama and all that stuff, relationship changes, it's really sad. So I'm going to give you a little analogy, so just follow along. Today you came here, you're sitting in these wonderful seats, and you're just relaxing, enjoying life, and you're admiring this great conference, and I think I see one of you on your Mac, or I think I see someone on their phone out there, you know, you're probably tweeting about this, you're admiring this great conference. But what are you going to take in? What are you going to indulge and take in from this conference and implement, implement tomorrow? So I urge you, all of you today, to get from this relaxed position to the edge of your seat, being ready to act, being ready to take in all these wonderful ideas that we've already heard, all these wonderful inspirational stories, being ready to act. So how are we going to do that? Very simple. These are four key points I just want you guys to reference. Number one, you need to be humble. You need to put others, you need to put others before yourself. When I was a freshman at Newberry Park High School, I, um, I lost an election as for class president. Reason why? Well, I put myself before my friends. I put myself before, that, before Newberry Park High School. I had this big ego, I was all great, but it didn't mean anything, because I put myself before my school and that's why I lost. In the last two years, I learned that and I've won every single time. Number two, you need to be yourself. Be who you want to be, not what others want you to be. For instance, today I'm wearing actually my very first pair of Vans. Um, for all of you who know me, I wear tennis shoes, jeans, and probably a collared shirt every single day, or a t-shirt. Everyone is so caught up in this conformity today. You know, you need to wear this, you need to wear that, you need to act like this, you need to engage people in certain ways, like certain ways, or be in this group at school over there. It's really sad to see. Number three, one of my most important ones is being a listener. 
I use this analogy, it's God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. He wants you to listen twice as much as you talk. And my dad who's here and my mom, they know that. I love to talk, but sometimes I actually do take that back seat and listen because my parents have a lot to tell me. Number four, <laughs> you need to be a leader. Without the first three, you can't be a leader. For example, this year um, at school we had a club startup. It's called the Panther Pit, very similar to the Green Hole if you guys are, I think we got some waving hands over there. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, we started a Panther Pit and they, they went, they took this idea and just took off with it and they, they're, at, they're a cheer section at our home games from volleyball to football to basketball and they're just ama they're an amazing group of kids that have really reamped the spirit at school. So to finish off, how you finish is how you will be remembered. You take your ideas and you implement them. Like today, we had that committee that took this great idea of Youth Day and they implemented it today for all of you. So let me finish off the quick quote. An idea that is developed and put into action is more important than an idea that exists only as an idea. That's from our fellow Buddha. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.